Now with the market in the current state it's in, safe and profitable investments are definitely one of the ways to go, and the first one's definitely going to be Operation Item. So if you want to look at the shop right here, everything on this page has gone up quite significantly since release, but I want to focus in on these stickers and the patches first, just because there's such a wide variety of these that at least at this point, some of these haven't even been developed to their full potential yet, and that's exactly what we want to focus in on. Obviously, we don't have an operation to invest into a plethora of items right now, and there's definitely going to be a huge investing opportunity when the next one comes around, but there's a lot of Riptide stickers that I still think have a decent amount of potential, and we can look at the past and see that so many of them have developed already. I wouldn't necessarily be going into those ones because I think they're already a little bit too expensive, but I think there's definitely a decent amount of opportunity in this area that hasn't yet been realized. Skin Swap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with a free bonus for signing up with the first link in the description. They're the premier place for CSGO and Rust skins, with a massive trading site and a top-of-the-line marketplace, offering you the most competitive rates out there and a massive 40% bonus when you're using that link in the description. Combine that with their top-of-the-line selling feature with many payout options and their trading feature legitimately taking you just about a minute, and there's no reason not to sign up with that first link in the description. Now, after operation items, another great area to look into is going to be those discontinued cases. These are going to be your three operation cases. You got your Riptide, you got your Shattered Web, and you got your Broken Fang. All three of these at this point are extremely expensive, which is the only downside that these cases have, but they've got a lot of upside. If we want to talk about the profitability, these things have gone absolutely crazy over the past couple of years. Now, with that being said, that's why they're so expensive now, but they still think they're a pretty decent investment, especially on the safety part. There's no more of these cases that can be created. The supply is completely capped, which is going to be the number one thing these have. Obviously, they're not going to be the most profitable investment, but something that might be are the no alternative borderless stickers. Let me explain it like this. Over here, we have three phase hollows. If you want a phase hollow, you've got three borderless options, but over here on the left, we've got stickers that just have one borderless option, and if you want that specific sticker, all the demand is concentrated on that one specifically because they don't have any alternatives. The goal is to find stickers over here on the left that you think have a little bit less demand than they're going to in the future, and they're going to grow to be massive investments because there's only that one specific sticker. If we want to look in 2023 for the Antwerp stickers that were borderless, we saw a 600% growth, absolutely insane. For Stockholm, we saw 400% growth for these stickers, which is significantly more than the stickers that did have alternatives coming in at around 200% for Antwerp and less for Stockholm. Now, this strategy can be a little bit more risky or a little bit more safe. If you want to go with Stockholm or Antwerp, I think it's definitely going to be a little bit more safe. If you want to go with Paris, because these are the Paris stickers that don't have alternatives that are borderless, it's going to be a lot more risky because you're putting your money into specifically Paris, which we know has a massive supply. I don't think it's going to be the most risky investment, but at least at this point when Paris hasn't proven itself to be anything significant in terms of sticker growth, I would definitely be extremely wary at this time. For the purpose of the video, I would think Antwerp is going to be your best go-to, but it's obviously your decision. Now, another safe, profitable, and proven investment has got to be those discontinued collections. However, they're not all created equally. If you know me, I like to talk about the collections that came from Riptide, Broken Fang, and Shattered Web. These are going to be the discontinued collections from these ones, and as you can see in the background right now, it made a significant amount of profit over the past year and over their lifetime especially, but if you want to look a little bit older, there are some collections there as well that are going to be a little bit more safe, but they're not going to be as profitable. Most of these have really lost the interest that they had, and most of them, you're going to be looking at maybe $5, $10 for a gray skin. I would highly suggest if you're going to go into this area, you would probably look at either Broken Fang or Riptide collections. These are going to be a little bit more profitable, especially when even comparing them to Shattered Web. Shattered Web is a little bit more expensive that you're looking at two, three dollars for a gray skin at this point, and I don't think that's going to be the most efficient way to use your money, even though it's going to be potentially a little bit safer, it's going to be a much more profitable investment when we're looking at Riptide and Broken Fang. Now, I've got four investments that don't fit this video, but I think a lot of people think they might fit this video. First of which is souvenir packages. Souvenir packages are a really bad investment in my personal opinion. If we want to talk about the Dust 2, the best souvenir package investment of all time in the brand new system, they've only ended up seeing maybe 100, 200% growth when you compare that to the capsules. That's absolutely abysmal. I don't think they're worth it. Second up is going to be older cases. You could be your Weapon 1, your Weapon 2, your Brava, your Hydra, all of these older cases. Basically, the thing about these cases is you would think they wouldn't be dropping down in price, but the truth is they drop down in price significantly more than discontinued cases. If you're looking at older cases, don't do that. Go discontinue cases instead. Third up is going to be play skins. The thing about play skins is because you're going into items that are not decreasing in quantity, you're not going to be able to make a significant amount of profit. Combine that with the fact that I would say they're a little bit more volatile than I would consider safe just because they're a little bit dependent on the player's count. Not fully, but they definitely are, and you kind of end up with the play skin market. I don't think it's a bad investment, but it's definitely not safe and profitable. And finally, then we have agents. Agents are a little bit weird. We have potential agents on the horizon with a brand new operation or a brand new agents pack. Plus, you combine that with the fact that I think agents overall are a little bit pumped up because we haven't seen any new agents in a significant amount of time, and the older agents which you would be investing into potentially in this circumstance would just be a little bit overpriced for the value that I think they hold. Now, talking about the staples in this area, first up, we have the rare case market. The rare case market is one that's so valuable because we know exactly what's going on, and that gives us such a precise amount of information that we can make such a strong decision with. First up, we have the rough amount of supply that's out there for each case, so we can take that and put that into our decision. Then we have the unboxing numbers. The unboxing numbers are telling us which cases are currently 
currently in demand. Those are probably the ones that we want to look at first. And the most important thing is these are always going to be decreasing in supply. The rare case only makes up about 1% of the drop pool. And unless we get to a billion players, I highly doubt we're going to see any of these cases really start to increase significantly in total supply out there, which is why we're leading to such expensive price points right now and why we've seen such massive amount of growth in the past year and pretty much all across the board for all of these cases. However, the best part about this is this growth is not going to stop overnight. We're going to continue to see this growth as long as we see developments happen inside of this game. The updates right now absolutely suck and they're not content updates, but they are crucial for this game moving forward. And I think as long as Valve continues on the current trajectory they're at, they're going to be ending up a very profitable investment. And then we've also got our major capsules. Now, major capsules are a little bit of a weird situation because they used to always be safe and profitable and now they're definitely not when we look at Paris. Obviously, Paris has not decreased the price just yet, but they're definitely not at the standard that we've seen in the past major capsules. I definitely think if you're looking for something that's the most safe, you're going to want to look at Stockholm or Antwerp. Those ones are definitely going to be more safe than Paris, but I think Paris offers a lot of opportunity. I just don't know if it's necessarily the perfect time to buy. If we want to look at Paris, it hasn't made any major stands forward yet, and therefore it's just kind of been in this little bit of a limbo right now. And I don't know if it's necessarily the best, most efficient place to put your money currently. And the best part about this area specifically is if you're there when Copenhagen drops the stickers, you're going to have a ton of information with the old prices. If we see borderless stickers for Copenhagen, you can bet that we're going to see Stockholm, Antwerp, and Paris probably decrease a little bit. Probably Paris the most just because it's the most volatile currently. But if we see Copenhagen come out and it's bordered, Paris is probably going to increase in price just because of that news. And you can go ahead and buy them at those old price and sell them off at the new price and make a decent amount of profit that way if you don't want to hold on to them for the long haul. Now talking about what to look for for safe and profitable investments, we're looking for safe investments over a longer period of time. We're not looking at the one week, two week trajectory of a lot of these items because even now you can see the overall market is just decreasing. But almost all of the items we mentioned in this video are up way significantly in the past year. That's exactly what we're looking for when we say safe. Don't look at the past one week, two week to determine your investment on an item unless you're looking for the cheapest price point for you to go ahead and invest into that item. I will say I definitely like to look for things that are decreasing in total quantity out there, whether that's cases, capsules, or discontinued collections. This is going to be the best way, in my personal opinion, to just at a glance understand how the item is moving. Now, talking about the best time to buy is very dependent on what the commodity is. We're talking about operation items. Obviously, you're going to want to purchase those during the operation because that's probably going to be the lowest price out there. But for the other items, it's really going to come down to your best judgment. You probably don't want to be buying anything at the maximum peak, or at least I would definitely reconsider twice because we can see a lot of peaks go down very quickly afterwards. So be careful of that. Be careful of falling into those little bit of a trap because no one's going to be there to defend you. Finally, what should you buy definitely comes down to the risk you're looking to take. Obviously, nothing in this video that we mentioned as a good investment is specifically risky, but I think the no alternative borderless stickers is definitely an area you want to look into if you've got a little bit more risk tolerance than the rest. Otherwise, rare cases are definitely a great area as well, but the biggest one is going to be operation items. When the next operation rolls around, definitely be thinking about operation items because they have massive profit potential and no one has been thinking about them for the past operations. It's a very good area to get into. Plus, with the Copenhagen Major right around the corner, I don't think any of these are necessarily bad investments to make. It definitely comes down to your personal preference and it's obviously your decision. But that's all I got. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're great today.